To begin the gas valve reset procedure, connect your manometer to the R port on the left side of the valve. Do not remove the screw, just back it off approximately two turns and connect your manometer. Once the manometer is connected, adjust the throttle screw until it is fully open. To do this, turn clockwise until the screw comes out flush with the plastic housing. Once the screw is flush, the valve is fully open. Now carefully turn the screw counterclockwise four complete revolutions. This should bring the valve to an approximate factory setting. Now you can complete your high fire combustion analysis and set the valve per the specifications in the manual. Next, remove the cap from the low fire adjustment screw. Keep the cap, you'll need it again. Now you want to adjust the low fire adjustment screw while the boiler is running in low fire until the pressure on the manometer reads zero. On this valve, the pressure is already reading zero, but you'll notice that as I increase the gas flow, the pressure will go positive and become a bigger number. And this is by turning the screw clockwise. And if I decrease the gas flow by turning counterclockwise, the number will become negative. Ensure you zero your manometer before beginning this procedure. Carefully and slowly adjust the screw until you see approximately zero inches water column on your manometer. At that point, you can now complete a low fire combustion analysis. Use the specifications in the installation manual to set the CO2 to the correct setting. That completes the gas valve reset procedure.